the Marley Bird YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my super simple shawl using one ball of yarn. I know many of you are just like me and you go to the store, you see a ball of yarn on the shelf and it just speaks to you, whether it's the color, the feel, the weight, there's just something about that ball of yarn and the next thing you know, you have it up on the conveyor belt, getting it through the checkout and you're buying it and you're going home with that ball of yarn. But you have no immediate plans of what you're going to do with that yarn, you just know you had to have it. Well, that happened with me recently. I was at the store and I saw Red Heart Colorscapes yarn and it just jumped off the shelf into my basket. I loved it so much. I couldn't decide what color I wanted to buy, so I bought one of four different colors. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought maybe I'd go home and I'd mix and match the colors. I just wasn't sure. So I bought all the yarn, I got home and I sat down and I grabbed my hook and I just started crocheting. And the next thing you know, I actually had a finished shawl. <laughs> this shawl was actually completed. And then I'm like, well, you know what? It's, it's kind of small for a one ball shawl. What could I do? Well, I really hate it when I wear shawls and they fall off my shoulders. So I like to actually join them in the back of the neck. So what I've done, take a look down here. If you take a look at this shawl, I've actually just added some buttons and the construction of the shawl itself lends itself to act as if they're buttonholes. So just by attaching buttons to one edge of the shawl, I can bring the other edge over and just button it closed and then I can wear the shawl just like this. This is one of the colorways I purchased and I just made another super simple shawl. It is a really great pattern. It's fast, it's easy, it's fun, and it's great for that one ball project that you just aren't sure what you wanna use that yarn for. This is that project. It is so much fun. Plus, buttons, you get to choose buttons and you don't have to make buttonholes. Um, hallelujah. <laughs> um, for this pattern, all you need to do is follow along with me here in the video. If you want to follow along with the actual pattern, it is over on marleybird.com. I'll put a link in the video description box right down there below. Please smash that like button as my kids say to let people know you enjoyed this video or to let me know that you are going to make your very own super simple shawl. See here it is all opened up. <laughs> okay, once you have your ball of yarn, your hook, and the pattern, we can jump in. It is so simple. You're just going to be like, that's it. Yep, that's it. Here we go. For this video, I'm going to use the color Shanghai in Red Heart Colorscapes yarn. This pattern is adaptable for any other yarn you want to try out, but I really like this particular yarn, and this is what I made the sample in, so why not? The first thing we want to do is place a slip knot on our hook. Take the tail of a yarn and put it in the palm of your hand. Take your working yarn, wrap it around your forefinger and middle finger, and when you come back up, cross over. Rotate your hands, take your hook, go underneath the front loop, grab the back loop, and off. We now have a slip knot directly under our hook. Perfect. Now we jump into the pattern. We start off by chaining four. One, two, three, four. Now we will skip three chains, two, three, and those three chains count as a double crochet. In this last chain, we are going to do a series of stitches, and in the pattern, if you're following along, you'll notice that all of these stitches are within parentheses. That indicates that everything that's inside the parentheses will either go into one stitch or one space, as indicated by the pattern. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and prep our hook for a double crochet, so we yarn over, and all of these stitches are going to go into this last chain. So we will do a double crochet, a chain one, a double crochet, a chain one, a double crochet, Now, I'm going to put a marker into this double crochet because that is the center of our shawl and I just want to make sure that we know where that is, okay? So I even wrote that in the pattern that you want to place a marker there, okay? So I just placed a marker into that particular double crochet. Now I will chain one, double crochet again into the same stitch where all, all of this is still going on to, into that stitch. Chain one 
And now I'll place two double crochet into that stitch. And this, my friends, is the start of the super simple shawl. These two double crochets on the outside, those are our increases at the wingspan. And down the center, where we've marked this center double crochet, we will work increases into that center stitch. That's the gist of the entire pattern. As long as we maintain the increases on the outside and down the center, we're gonna be golden, because the rest of the pattern is just filet crochet. And that's just a fancy word for doing double crochets on top of doubles, separated by chains. Here we go, let's see how this works. We'll go ahead and turn our work, so we are on row two. We will chain three. Again, this counts as a double crochet now and throughout. We will double crochet into this same stitch right here, okay? Because this will be our increase. Remember, we want two double crochets. So there's one and there's our second one. Now, we will chain one and working into the top of that double crochet, the next double crochet, we will work a double crochet. Chain one and double crochet into the next double crochet chain one and here we are we're getting to where it's our marked center see this is our marked center so we're going to be doing our center increase you ready so i will do a double crochet into that center stitch a chain one a double crochet a chain one and another double crochet all of that was into that center stitch i can take this marker okay and I just move it up. So if I wanted to mark the actual stitch, I could do that too. I mean, it doesn't matter, whichever works. But now I'm, I just know where the center is and I carry on. Chain one and do a double on top of the double. Chain one, do a double on top of the double. Chain one. And now I'm at the end again, I'm over here at the side, so we've got to work our increase. So into the third chain over here, okay, you want to work into the chain. Don't work into the space, work into the actual chain. We will place two double crochets. So there's one, and there's two. See how this works? Easy peasy, right? Isn't it super simple? I told you, this is it. This is all you're doing for the entire shawl. Let me work through one more row with you and then I'll show you the edging. That's it, so simple. Go ahead, turn your work. You chain three. I'm gonna go faster on this one. I will put a double crochet into this first double crochet, right? Cause that's my increase. I have two double crochets. Now I jump into my repeat. Chain one, put a double on top of the double chain one, put a double on top of the double, chain one, double on top of the double, chain one, double on top of the double, see how easy this is you guys? Chain one and we are to our marked stitch, so this is going to be our increase. So into that marked stitch, it's our center, right? We'll put a double, a chain one, a double, a chain one, and a double. See that? I can move my marker, place it in the center of those three doubles I just did, and then carry on. So I chain one, work to the next double crochet, and work my double. As you get going along, if you realize you don't really need that center mark stitch anymore, you don't have to use it. That's totally there as um, kind of like just a help for you. So if you don't need that help, you don't have to remember to use it. You can just carry on without any issues, right? I'm here at the end. Remember when I get to the chain stitches, I wanna work into the actual third chain and I wanna place two double crochets there. So there's one and two. And that's it, y'all. This is the entire body of the shawl. You just keep going back and forth just like this until this center portion 
reaches about 18 inches or until you think you're about to run out of yarn. But don't run out of yarn because you still need yarn for the actual edging, which is so simple. So this entire project is to use up that whole ball of yarn, right? So as you're going along, if you're like, mm, you know what, I'm not real sure, I should probably start my edging right now, then do it. You aren't gonna you know, be disappointed unless you run out of yarn. So you kind of get to guesstimate or make the shawl as big or as small as you want. If you have two balls of yarn, great. Continue making this until you are almost out of two bowls of yard and then do the edging. It's really that simple. Now the edging, I wanted to keep it very easy as well. So I just did a simple pico stitch. For the pico stitch, you will turn your work. We will go ahead, chain one, and working into each double crochet all the way down this row, we will work a single, chain three, and then a single crochet into that same stitch. Go to the next double crochet, work a single, whoops, went too fast for myself, chain three, and then work a single into that same stitch. Go to the next double crochet, work a single, chain three, and then work a single into that same stitch. See how it's getting this really cool pico edge? Very easy, and you can see it doesn't use up a whole lot of yarn, depending on how big your shawl is. So you really can just use one ball of yarn and get a really cool look. Isn't that neat? I just, it's so gratifying and it's so simple. This is really great TV watching. Uh, maybe your kid is in sports and you like to work between the quarters or between the halves. I mean, this is one of those projects you could just pull out and you don't really have to know where you are. You just kind of start working on it. It's really super duper easy. Once the whole shawl is complete, I'm gonna set this down, you get this really great edging and, and that's it. Like you just weave in your ends and you're done. So let's take a look at this one. So this is the one that I made uh, first, okay? So I finished the whole shawl. It's about 18 inches from this point to my, my tip, okay? So about that far, that's about 18 inches. And all I did is I set it down and like I said, I wanted it to be able to stay around my neck. So I just picked two decorative buttons that I had at the house and I just attached them to one side of the shawl, okay? Um, they're about six inches apart. You can totally adjust these depending on how tight you want your shawl around your neck, totally adjustable. And all I did is I just sewed them on using the actual yarn that I used on the project. I didn't do anything more detailed than that. Then all that needs to happen is as long as those buttons actually fit through the picos, or not the picos, the filet that we created. I mean, look, I don't even ever have to undo this. It just kind of stays in place. They just fit in and voila. I have a very simple shawl and there it is on me and uh, if you're like me, you probably go to the store and whenever there's a clearance on buttons or anything, you collect buttons. So it's, it's really fun just to go through and try and find buttons that work. I loved the idea of these really big buttons. I got these at a um, local yarn store that was going out of business and I have had them for years and I didn't know what to use them for and I was like, this is perfect. I mean, look at this button. Look, I got this one on clearance so many years ago, but how cool is that button? That would be a really neat button. So, I mean, but the sky's the limit. You can do anything you want. All right, so there you go. All of you out there who have been asking me how to make my super simple shawl, now you are in the, in the know. And you can go and pick up your own one skein of yarn. Um, it can be any, any kind of yarn you want. You can really customize this shawl to be as big or as small as you want it to be. Um, this is 187 yards and this is a size five weight yarn. No, it's a size four. So it's a worsted weight. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of how much yarn it takes. Uh, this yarn is a gradual color changing yarn, so that was really nice because it allowed the colors to kind of come out and play as each row got made, but that's it. All right, so please run out there, make your simple, simple, <laughs> super simple shawl. Make sure you use the hashtag MarleyBird on social media so that way I can smash your like button and I will catch you guys around here soon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye.
Everything you need to know about knitting or crochet can be found right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Learn with Marley Bird. Visit youtube.com forward slash Marley Bird.